Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger Videos. We're going to take a look at the simple gear to understand some of the mechanics behind how it works. We're going to start by noting that this is going to look just a little bit different than the simple gear that we built in our build video. And the reason why is that we have put a 60 tooth gear here so that we have two 60 tooth gears connected directly. This is important because when examining a simple gear, we need to understand what differences there are if we use the same size gears versus gears that have two different sizes. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to identify our input and output. Now, input is going to be the gear where we put power into the system. And the easiest way we put power in is through this handle. So when I put the handle on this gear, this becomes my input gear which makes this my output gear. We also may refer to this as the drive gear and the driven gear. And we can also look at it in the shaft. We have the input or drive shaft and we have the output or driven shaft. So several different um, variations on the terminology that we could use and it's important to understand all of them. The biggest thing to remember is input is where we put power in, output is where we get power out. Now let's take a look at the speed and torque. Now speed and torque are inversely related. If the speed goes up, the torque goes down. If torque goes up, speed goes down. That's going to be important for this next piece. I want you to watch, and I've marked with yellow um, pieces of paper on the gear so that you can see how much it actually rotates. As I turn this, I want you to make a prediction. Do you think that the output gear will turn at the same speed or a different speed compared to the input gear? Make that prediction and then let's see what happens. If you predicted that the speed would be constant, you were correct. The reason why is that our gear ratio with two of the same size gears is going to be one to one. And anytime we have a one to one ratio, the speed and the torque are going to remain constant. Speed is the more easy one to actually see. Since they have a one to one gear ratio, that might also be useful when we predict what happens when we change to two different size gears couple more pieces before we make a switch. The flow of power refers to which direction the system can go if I move this handle. So if I move the handle to the other side, can I make this gear system still work? And it appears that yes, I can, which means that the flow of power here is actually reversible. There are gears where moving the handle to the output will prevent the system from working. So it's important to know which ones are reversible and which ones are not. Another piece to consider is the direction of travel. Can this handle be turned both ways? So here I'm moving forward, but can I turn it backwards? Yes, I can, which means the direction of travel is also reversible. One last piece of information is to think about the gear direction. So which direction does the output move in comparison to the input? So let's move this forward. You may notice that the output gear turns in the opposite direction of the input. That's useful to know because if you're going to build a device that uses a simple gear, you need to realize that the output and inputs go in opposite directions of each other. Okay, so that concludes at least looking at this version of our simple gear. So let's make a modification here. I'm going to take this one off. I don't know why I loosened the front one here because I may need this later. So let's go ahead and tighten that back up. Okay, and let's switch this out and put in our 12 tooth gear and let's tighten 
that locking collar down. Okay, now let's see, I'm just going to start turning this and I want you to see if how many things you see that appear to be different than what we saw when we had both gears the same size. So let's go ahead and begin. So before we look at what's different, let's look at some of the things that are the same. We notice that both gears now still turn in opposite directions. We can see that it is reversible. We can see that if I move this around, yep, flow of power is reversible too. So what changed? If you were thinking that what changed is the speed, you made an excellent observation. In this case, my gear ratio is no longer the same. With a 60 and a 12, my gear ratio has changed this time. I now have a 1 to 5 gear ratio. And if I move the handle over here, I have a 5 to 1 gear ratio. So what that means is now this, with my handle over here, is moving faster than the input. My output is actually moving five times for every turn of the input. If I were to move the handle over here and turn it, you will notice that now it takes five turns of the input to get one turn out of the output. So the speed and torque have definitely changed here, but whether they go up or down is also dependent on which gear is your input. So it's important to know that with two different size gears, the speed and torque will be different. But how they're different is based on the input. Everything else about this version of the gear is going to be the same as the other version. Okay, that concludes an examination of the simple gear mechanics. Thank you for watching, and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with any of our future gear videos or any other tutorial here at MythBadger Videos.